Hello guys and welcome to today's episode Wait today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail I have got something to ask you Now I know this may not be the most interesting thing for every single one of you guys But I still thought I should do this video So we're going to go ahead and actually get ourselves into this base layout Because you can see this in a much much better way I'm going to also compare this to my war bases etc etc But the question is, would you guys like to see me sell every single one of of the flags I've got on the bottom of the base so you can see I've got every single one of the national flags I bought these at like what Town Hall 7 I believe so that is like a year ago so I've got this uh, flag since a year or something like that maybe even longer than that and I've also got the flowers and the statues now the statues I'm actually not gonna sell I do know that for a fact because the statues they actually do cost quite a bit of loot slash gems so I think the barbarian king statue yeah I got this one the mighty heroes statue when there was this uh, what was it like where Supercell would give money to some sort of uh, operation I can't remember what it was where you would get a red uh, barbarian king armor something like that and you would also get the mighty statue so that is when I bought this mighty statue now the Pekka I'm not sure let's see if it is in the shop in the decorations if we scroll to the very right of the uh, what it, or of the shop basically so it costs 1 million I know it's not too much loot but it's still a million gold and then the uh, mighty statue, the other mighty statue, not the mighty hero statue, but the actual mighty statue, I also bought for 500 gems. Now, we haven't bought the pirate flag yet, which I may buy, but not in today's video. So, basically, again, the question is, would you guys like to see me sell every single one of these flags? Every single flag uh, gets you about 10,000 gold, I believe. That is not a lot indeed. If you compare the 10,000 gold, you will get back to the 100,000 gold you actually uh, purchased to your actually gave to purchase the flag then that is like only 90% that is like 10% of what you paid basically if that makes any sense you guys now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of my wall bases just so that you guys can sort of like compare it to uh, to bases without flags so this would be a wall base with all of the flags and the flowers and all that stuff I personally think well actually no I'm not gonna tell you what I personally think because I believe many times I say my personal opinion and then I actually influence all of my views so I don't want to do this this time so I'm just going to show you my bases and you guys can let me know down below in the comment section if I should sell or keep the flag so you can see this is another wall base for example let's go ahead and have a look at a normal base so if I go into my home village let's go into the troll base for example photo mode and you can see this is the base with the flags and let me just go ahead and delete the flags for once so we're going to go ahead and use the erase mode so we're just going to click on all of these flags like so okay there we go let me delete the these flags right here and then also these ones over on this side of the base and the flowers as well so this would be the base then without any flowers or without any uh, flags so let me go into photo mode zoom out and here it is you guys so this is the base without uh, flags and then you saw the base with flags a few seconds ago so let me know down below in the comment section what would you like to see I know it's honestly nothing too big but I just want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section so that you feel like it's sort of like own a part of the base basically you know what I mean I know you obviously don't own the account but I want you guys to feel like you do so I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section if I should sell the flags or not so with that being said you guys let's get ourselves into an attack after all of that rambling which most of you guys most likely got bored of because uh, yeah I don't know I don't even know if you are still watching if you are well then thank you very much but anyways let's go ahead find a base so we've got a queen slash bowler walk attack strategy and I've wanted to use this for a long time i've been told this is a really really good war attack strategy and i've tried this once and i absolutely failed i only got like 40 percent i didn't even get a single star so i do have to practice with this so we just came across this basic course and we are going to take it on because this guy does have a lot of loot so we're just going to go ahead and start off with a queen walk i guess i don't really know so i'm going to go ahead and take out the enemy archer queen actually going to drop in all of my healers though one two three four healers there they go and hopefully the queen does remain alive for the 
entirety of the attack so we're gonna drop in that first race for hopefully we don't have to use that queen ability yet and oh my god this is really clutch what i'm doing is really risky but it seems like it's going to pay off okay so the arch queen did manage to stay alive for the entirety of that that was pretty damn awesome okay so let's drop in one and two wall breakers and because they are enraged they're gonna be able to break through that wall did i say enraged i don't know i think i said enraged i meant enraged but uh, yeah hopefully the queen does move towards the center but she's not because she totally wants to ignore the wall breakers not sure why she did that well actually it's just the arch queen she wants to break through a wall herself she doesn't want other units to help her through the walls the walls are her favorite target obviously but uh, yeah anyway so we're going to start dropping in a couple of bowlers because we do need to make a funnel here for our arch queen to go to the center of the base come on bowlers do some damage okay there they go now queen i am sorry but oh my god i can't believe this you guys the queen literally does not want any help so okay so finally the queen did something right in her life okay anyways so we're going to drop in the rest of our bowlers but where should we drop i honestly don't know how to do this i'm just going to spam in all of my bowlers to be honest drop in that bar king and then all of the five witches there you go my witches you guys let's drop in that uh, jansaw hopefully the bowlers do swing into the center of the base did all of our healers die what happened to the healers i don't really know i think the air defense actually took them out that is sad but anyway so we're going to drop in our final raid spot in the center of the base in a few seconds actually we are going to hold on to our jump spells though i'm actually going to pop the king ability soon and uh, the wizard tower is currently attacking my bar king so we're not going to use it quite yet i'm going to drop in another jump spell over here i'm going to pop the king ability right now i don't think it was too necessary but we still did it so we do have a lot of bowlers left well actually not too many to be honest well we have quite a few so we've got these bowlers over on this side should we drop a race ball in the center of the base i think i'm just going to do it for fun because why not okay so we've got a couple of bowlers a couple of witches and our arch queen in the center of the base our bar king died we've got one bowler over on this side he took care of that air defense well, are we going to get the three star i don't know you guys i don't think so we've got the arch tower alive the cannon the other cannon another cannon another cannon and an archer tower said so honestly it doesn't look like we're going to be getting the 100 three star and we missed out on a ton of loot because we went in from the bottom of the side and most of the loot actually all of the loot was on the top of the base so well that was my mistake you guys hopefully we can actually get ourselves a decent amount of loot though even though we're not going to be getting every single one of these collectors so the arch queen is now going to die by that cannon i believe in three two one and rest in peace arch queen zero seconds left in the battlefield in the battlefield in the attack we have a single jump sword we did not use but we've got a total of 300 000 gold and 250 000 elixir and 900 dark elixir i'm absolutely fine with that let's return back to base see if we've got another army and yes we do you guys check it out a whole entire minion swarm this is absolutely crazy this is pretty fun to see you guys okay so there go all of the minions they just got into the army compositions into the army camp so we're gonna go ahead do a final fast attack and uh, we just came across this base and because it is a dead base i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, attack it so i'm gonna use a single actually you know what i'm actually gonna do it like so so i'm gonna drop in one race for another race for and a haste for and i'm just gonna spam in all of my minions like this so this should be pretty fun you guys i honestly don't know what the results are going to be we're going to keep a couple of minions for the top of the base let's drop in a heal spell though on these minions and let's see how this is going to go i'm going to drop in a few over on this side now keep in mind we do not have our heroes so we are obviously not going to be getting every single drop of the loot but that is fine i'm going to miss out on this gold collector i know that for a fact right now this gold collector is going to go down doesn't look like it but we still got ourselves a decent amount of loot i believe 150,000 of each from the 2,000 200,000 sorry that was at the beginning in the base so 59% one star zero seconds left in the attack and we got ourselves a decent amount of loot 150,000 gold 180,000 elixir and 500 dark elixir so that's fine with me because we use two great spores a single haste spore and a single heal spore that is pretty decent so we're going to go ahead and see if we can collect any loot only a little bit of dark elixir we don't have enough gold to be able to upgrade any balls whatsoever so that is also fine our king and queen are both down and we don't have any more troops to do another attack so i'm going to have to end the video here you guys but that is still fun i do really 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 hope you guys did enjoy this and again let me know down below in the comment section if you would like to see me sell every single one of these flags and also without you calculating anything you guys i don't want anyone cheating here i just want you guys to take a guess down below in the comment section how much gold are we gonna get if we were to sell every single one of the flags now keep in mind i'm only talking about the flags and not about the flags so only the flags you guys let me know down below in the comment section do 
not go ahead and calculate it please be fair stay fair for every single one of the other people in the comment section just take a wild guess I'm also going to take a guess so I'm guessing these are about 20 flags or so so that's about 200,000 gold is that right I believe that is right so I'm going to have a guess and say 200,000 gold is what we're going to be getting from the uh, total of the flags uh, just take a random guess you guys please don't cheat and uh, yeah but that being said I am going to end the video so if you did enjoy this video which I really really did enjoy making then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know down below in the comment section what the what I just told you basically take a wild guess for the flags if you have to wait with you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily videos and with all that being said guys my name is of course Sasha and I'll see you next time peace out